Welcome to Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Phuket, Thailand. This is the start of a new series where I'm going to be discovering Thai food for the first time with you. So I'm in Phuket, the largest island here in Thailand. It's in the Andaman Sea and it's a tourist hotspot but it's also home to some seriously authentic local Thai food. I'm super excited to be exploring so I woke up bright and early. I'm in Phuket town. I'm gonna go grab some breakfast. It's gonna be a great episode so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Thai food. So my first stop for breakfast today is for roti and masuan curry. So I've come to a Muslim halal Thai uh, eatery that's called Roti Jalfa and they're famous for their uh, masuan curry and their rotis. So she's making them up fresh behind me. She thins out the dough super, super paper thin and then folds it up, puts it on the fryer and you can have it with egg or you can have it stuffed like a martabak, but I'm just gonna have it plain with the masuan curry. And they also have a woman who's uh, selling fried chicken, so uh, an interesting combination. I'm gonna try the fried chicken as well. It looks super crunchy and crispy. She's got it uh, marinating in a batter, a nice yellow spiced up batter, and then frying it up hot in the oil. And it looks like it's gonna be really good, so let's go eat. Oh, fish. Fish, yeah. Chicken masaman. This is the chicken masaman. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm sitting down now. It's about 9.30 a.m. It's pretty busy in here, and this is a large restaurant, and I've got the fried chicken. It's served with this beautiful orange Thai sauce, and she's also topped it with some fried shallots as well, and that's looking super crunchy, so let's dig in. So I'm gonna go for a dip here. This sauce is classic Thai sauce with some chili, garlic, probably some vinegar, some sugar in there. Let's try it out. really crunchy it's got like a really crispy batter on the outside and not a whole lot of flavor so you're getting all that flavor from the sauce the sauce is actually quite sweet and it's it looks like it might be spicy but it's not spicy at all oh and here comes the rest of the food let's dig in okay we're moving right along to the curry so they actually brought me out another curry this one here is like more of a yellow rich looking curry and you can see the influence uh, from the Indian subcontinent here and then over here We've got uh, what you really need to order when you come here, the Masaman curry. This just looks so good. And those two drumsticks are absolutely beautiful. And then you gotta eat it with the roti, which we saw her making fresh. And it's super crispy. She's chopped it all up, nice and flaky. Okay, let me go in, give it a little dip, and then try to pull some of that chicken off. Oh, that is effortless. Look at that, oh man. Mm. Oh yeah, wow, that is phenomenal. It's such a rich flavor. It's actually served like not hot, so you can eat it right away. The chicken's super soft too. The flavor of that curry is just insane. There's gotta be tons of ingredients in there, but it's got a really pronounced fruity flavor, which if I had to guess would be pineapple that they put inside of it but I think if you ask them, they'd never tell you because it's probably a secret because why would you want to give this recipe away? It's so good. And also this roti is seriously a highlight as well. It's so crispy and then kind of chewy on the inside. It just absorbs the flavor of the masuan curry so well. You don't even need the chicken. You could just eat the curry as is like that. All right, it's so good. So this one they brought out, they recommended. I, I wasn't gonna order it, but they said I should try it, so. Um, let's dig into this. So you can see it's got a completely different color than the masaman and Gotta get lots of that chicken which just peels off so effortlessly 
Mm. That one is really good too. That one's got a lot more heat than the matzo bun for sure. That is a lot more spicy. That reminds me more of an Indian style curry. But I love the roti. It retains the crispy crunchiness even after you've soaked it in the curry, which is amazing. And wow, that chicken just falls apart. This is a great place to start my trip here in Thailand. You've got to order the Masaman curry when you come here. And they also have one more thing I'm going to order after I finish eating this. Kind of like a dessert, the banana roti. And I'm not really sure I'm supposed to be eating with my hands or not, but I'm so used to being in Pakistan and India that I've just been eating with my hands. But you can just eat it with a spoon if you want. On carb, that is good. It's sweet. Oh my god. So I just ordered up a banana roti. So she just cuts the banana into thin slices and puts it inside of the roti bread. You can also get uh, roti with egg here. And uh, she's gonna put a little bit of sweet condensed milk on top of it. it smells super good. This one, cheese. Oh wow, they have all kinds of different. That looks good. Okay, so this is the banana roti. You can see the banana is like completely mushed on the inside from being cooked and then they've covered it in condensed milk so it's going to be a little bit sweet and this looks really really good it's going to be hot oh my god so hot. Mm. oh my god that is good though the banana is super super creamy and it's actually not too sweet you get that milk on top and the roti is gotten soggy so it's not like the plain roti man oh man that banana flavor on the inside is just so good oh yeah oh, wow. that's awesome now that is what i call a breakfast so i had two chicken curries the fried chicken and uh, the banana roti and the regular roti and it all came to 175 so super affordable too i'm gonna take a little stroll around the phuket town now So this street is called Tanun Talang. It's a beautiful street lined with Sino-Portuguese style buildings. So the Chinese-Portuguese uh, mix influence. There are all these pastel colors, really beautiful and really unique. It's great for taking pictures. Most of them are just filled with shops selling uh, different tourist stuff, but there's lots of good food hiding in the alleyways. And you could just walk around here all day and just uh, enjoy taking in the views of Phuket town. So down some of the side alleys off of the Tanun Talang, you can find a couple of little cafes that are hiding in some of these old style buildings. And Phuket was famous back in the day for a tin mining industry. So they had a lot of immigration from uh, different parts of the world. So nowadays you get a lot of influence, especially Chinese influence in the food and the culture and everything here. I just love these buildings. They're so colorful and cool.
So damn, one of the little side streets, you'll see this street food stall called Apong Meisuni. They're serving Apong, which is a Phuketian only dessert. So they've got these little woks that are heated on charcoal and then they use a batter fried up nice and thin and then once it's crispy they wrap it up and it doesn't sound like much but Michelin has awarded these uh, people with a bib gourmand so I have uh, the final product here this is the apong so really you can only find this here in Phuket so on the outside it's a little bit crispy and then on the inside it feels soft let's try it out oh no that's so good and you wonder why is Michelin giving these guys a bib gourmand for something like this? Well, you need to come and taste it for yourself. This is on another level, coconut batter with nice sweet sugar. It's chewy and soft and warm on the inside and then crunchy on the outside. Man, it is seriously so good. I could eat like a thousand of these. And they actually serve four to 500 every day. They're super addictive and they're only three pots. I swear to you, I'm not over exaggerating. This thing is like heaven on earth. These are so, so addictive. You can see the line of people behind me there. Super thin and crispy on the outside right here. <laughs> and then on the inside, it's like doughy and soft. Like a pancake. Coconutty. Oh my God, that's good. Seriously, you gotta try this. A pong. So I just popped into this really cool cafe restaurant called Copitium by Walai, and it's inside of one of those old Sino-Portuguese buildings. I ordered up a uh, blue pea flower soda, so I just need something to cool off because it's so hot here. Thank you. Wow, check this thing out. Look at the color of that. And there's some mint on top, and it looks like some little berries or something. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that is refreshing though. So another thing they have here at Kopitium is this Phuketian only dessert called Oeo. And it's basically, uh, the main ingredients are the jelly and the shaved ice. And the jelly is Ayu jelly. Well, that's what it's called in Taiwan, but here it's called Oe. And it's from a fig and they soak the fig in water. This one's deluxe though. It's got the uh, watermelon, melon, and dragon fruit. And then back here, it's got some banana and then underneath you can see the uh, shaved ice which is pink in color and this is going to be super refreshing so let's dig in so like i said the main ingredients are the jelly here and then the shaved ice which is underneath so i'm going to try to just get some of that and then you can see that pink syrup try that first before i try all of those uh, little balls of fruit mm. oh it's super super cold oh my god um quite sweet the jelly is nice and uh, bouncy and let me try a little bit more with one of these pieces of dragon fruit the jelly is honestly like such a unique texture it's really really bouncy mm. oh man that is refreshing mm. I like it with the dragon fruit you can see that the hot sun just turns this to a cold soup in like a matter of seconds mm. But it's still refreshing. Maybe a little bit too sweet for me though. That's such a cool cafe inside of one of these Chinese row houses as they're known and all the traditional decor and the OAO was pretty good. Really refreshing the drink too. And now I'm gonna go get uh, a proper lunch. So for lunch, I've come to have Hainan chicken rice. So there's a lot of Chinese influence here in Phuket, as I mentioned. This restaurant's called Kota Kao Moon Kai Restaurant, and they have a couple different things, but their Hainan chicken rice is the most famous. And the, 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 the sweet and sour. Okay. And the inside have the chili and the ginger. Chili and ginger? Okay. Oh yeah, you can see. So this is the chicken rice, it looks 
pretty simple, but uh, don't let it fool you because the rice has been uh, covered in some of that chicken oil and then it's all about the sauce that's on top. So she actually, the owner came over and uh, introduced the sauce to me. There's a selection of sauces on the table, but she kind of mixed up her, her favorite preferred sauce. So I'm gonna put a little bit of extra sauce on top here. And then the chicken has been boiled and braised. Let me try that, oh man. Nice thin cuts of chicken. Mm. Mm -hmm. The chicken is super moist and tender, and I really love the rice. There's so much flavor hiding in that rice. The sauce has quite a bit of garlic, so you can taste all that garlic. And there's a, a chicken herbal soup that she's also served with it. Mm. Oh. I thought it was gonna be salty, but it's actually really simple. You can taste those fresh herbs and there's green onions in there. Okay, I definitely want to load this up with the sauce and you can see there's like big chunks of ginger in there. There's minced garlic and big pieces of green chili as well. And you can go as generous as you would like with this sauce and the chicken is just so melt in your mouth. A little bit of heat from those chilies. Mm. Oh my god. That sauce is phenomenal. You can chase it with like a green onion. There's also chilies and lettuce and cucumbers. Mm. Oh my god. That is so good. You can actually see that the rice has like a different color to it. Almost like a yellow tinge because of that oil that they put on top. Mm -hmm. yeah. The owner here is super friendly. She just came over to the table once again and uh, made me some more sauce and she recommended that I try the red pork and uh, crispy pork you can see right here. Look at that crispy skin. And she also told me that I should uh, take one of these green onions right here and dip it right in the sauce. Mm. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Let's try the pork. So this is their red pork and their crispy pork. And just look at that piece of pork skin. It looks seriously crispy. You can see it's bubbled up. And uh, I think I'm gonna try the first piece of this thin cut red pork. And of course we gotta go in for some of the sauce, which is just so, so good with those green chilies. Definitely wanna be careful if you're not a spice lover because those green chilies pack a punch. Mm. Mm. The red sauce that it's been marinated in has like a hint of sweetness. And it's very thin cut, almost like a ham, and uh, really moist, juicy pork. That sauce packs a serious punch. Okay, crispy pork skin time. I gotta get this piece right here, and I know that's gonna have a crunch, so I'll get this nice lean piece as well with it. Try. Oh, can't forget. A little bit of sauce. It's nice and oily. Once you crack into it, it kind of starts to melt and release all those oils. And it works really nice with the rice. Man, that is some seriously crunchy skin. Super, super friendly owner and uh, delicious high on chicken rice. And also their crispy pork and red pork was awesome too. Quick lunch, I'm gonna drive now to the southern tip of uh, Phuket to a place called Rawai and later tonight get some seafood. So I've made it down to Rawai on the southern coast of Phuket. This is a beautiful area. I've come out onto this big long pier. There's tons of these little kids jumping off the pier into the water. The water is like super clear, blue and green, beautiful turquoise water. And there's a seafood market near here that I'm gonna check out and uh, you can buy the seafood fresh and then take it to one of the restaurants. So that's my plan. Did 
So there's all these fresh seafood stalls and their prices are the same but then you bargain. That's how the game works here. You you gotta bargain because they're gonna rip you off if you don't. And they have some pretty exotic seafoods. I saw horseshoe crabs, uh, all kinds of different crustaceans and different colorful fish. Just look at the selection here. Look at these beautiful crabs. So I just bought about a half a kilo of uh, these big prawns and then two of the squid here and this is the shop and then right across the street is the restaurant so I'm gonna take it over there to cook it up and man they've got some other really good looking seafood but I wish I could eat more. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so this restaurant across the street from the uh, seafood stalls is called Mook Mani and Michelin has also uh, recommended and awarded them I think with a Bib Gourmand and uh, it was 175 baht to cook the seafood that I brought and I also got a pineapple fried rice so I don't think it really gets too much fresher than that I mean the sea is right there then the seafood stall is right beside it and then right beside that is the restaurant so it's just a streamlined process right in to your belly the next step so I have a true Thai seafood feast with all of the seafood that I just bought outside the first dish is this one over here it's the steamed squid in a, a sour spicy salad I guess they call it with onions there's tomatoes and I think actually you can see right here there's eggs inside of the squid so that looks awesome and then over here I've got the massive prawns all grilled up they've been cut open there and man those look seriously huge and then I also ordered this crazy looking pineapple fried rice which is actually served in the pineapple looks like there's cashews on top and then the fried rice is underneath with the egg and there should be pineapple in there too everything looks seriously good my mouth is watering so let's dig it so I'm gonna start with this squid dish and you can see underneath here there's just tons of all of that uh, sauce and there's some extra lime over here too I'll put a little bit on right here and try to grab some of the squid with an onion and try that out Oh man, so fresh. Besides the squid being extremely fresh, the flavor is fresh because it's got that sour um, lime juice in there, lots of garlic, there's a little bit of heat, and just serve kind of room temperature. It's not uh, hot or anything. It's like a refreshing squid salad. That's really what they call it. It's really good. Okay, I'm moving right along to these jumbo prawns. Take the head off here and try to peel uh, some of the shell off if I can. I'm just going right in with my fingers and I don't want to destroy the meat on the inside too much and I've also been given a sauce on the side. Okay, that's that's good enough. I think oh there I've given a sauce right here So I'm gonna go for a little dip. It's like a Thai seafood sauce with lots of garlic chilies uh, cilantro let's try That is a meaty prawn. Wow. That sauce has a serious spice kick to it. And you can taste the smoky grill that that uh, prawn was cooked on. And that was a meaty, meaty prawn. A lot of meat on there. And there's a little bit extra on the tail here. Oh man. It's like seafood heaven. Mm. So this is the pineapple fried rice. There's a ton of fried shallots on there. And I don't know if those are peanuts or cashews, but 
I'm gonna try to grab, oh yeah, and there's a piece of pineapple right there. And I'm gonna try this one. It's a decent fried rice. It's not really smoky, but the pineapple is nice and juicy. Honestly, pineapple should be in way more savory dishes in my opinion, and fried rice is one of them. It just goes so well and complements the seafood really well too. What a feast this is, wow. Just check out the size of these prawns. They had even bigger ones there too. And uh, they've been cut up nicely so you can easily remove the head and then the shell on the outside. Kind of like butterfly cut, I guess you could say. Look at that. It's like a, almost like a lobster. So much meat in there. And let me peel the rest of that shell away. And then you gotta dip it in the sauce. The sauce is just so, so good. Garlicky, spicy. Oh man, look at that. Oh my God. It has a mouthful. And there's still more. This dip is like perfect for this meaty, meaty prawn. So if you really want to kick it up a notch, they also serve some straight chili here. And uh, yeah, go easy on this stuff because it is dangerous. And I love this sauce that the squid is served in. And some of them have eggs inside of it too. It just goes so well. Got to get some onions there too. Mm. Oh yeah. Whoa. That is the Thai spicy. I was looking for. Woo, that'll heat you up. Man, that is spicy. Okay, I am seriously hurting after that spicy bite, but moving right along again, these prawns are just ridiculous. There is a little bit of eggs inside. Oh my God, my mouth is on fire from that chili. And how beautiful that is. That is just gorgeous. All right, this is what's left of the seafood feast. The only thing that wasn't amazing was the uh, fried rice. It's just okay, but the seafood was prepared incredible. Uh, Thailand really knows how to cook seafood. I love the contrast of spicy and sour. There's a place next to here called Promtep Cape, and it's a little peninsula where you can see a beautiful sunset, and I think I'm perfectly on time for a nice Phuket sunset to end the day. So behind me is the Prom Tep Cape. It's like this big rock outcrop that you can hike down. Probably takes about 15 minutes, but I didn't go down. I just watched the sunset from up here and there is a ton of people here. I'm surprised because uh, most of the other tourist sites here in Thailand that I've seen have been pretty empty. So this is definitely a popular spot. It's the perfect sunset spot. But that's gonna be it for today's episode. What an incredible first day of eating here in Phuket, Thailand. Make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what did you guys think looked like the best thing that I tried today. And make sure if you haven't subscribed, hit the bell icon so you're notified and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Drop some girl, bye.